it is me, the uh, yeah. and someone else. Yeah. <laughs> but today we were thinking, how about we go over the various dairy products that all you lactose intolerance wish you could partake of? Pretty much. Since we figured we've covered everything else rudimentary, like the alphabet and the senses, what is more basic after that than the dairy products? <laughs> I tell you what. Besides maybe the flesh of animals, but maybe that is another good idea for later. Cause we can insult the lactose intolerance, but not the vegetarians. <laughs> I insult them every day with loving my meat so much. Meat in your mouth. <laughs> Okay, so dairy products we assume have a base of milk. Milk comes from mammals. We normally eat it from cows. That is assuming we are a human, which we are not apparently. <laughs> if you were to assume anything, you could obviously assume that I were to partake of dairy products from the milk of whales. <laughs> but that is just a fire assumption. <laughs> that must be hard to get without drowning either you or the whale. How do you drown a whale? They live in the water. You can drown in air. It's just when you can't breathe. Fish drown in air, even though whales are mammals. But we are going to say that whales also drown in air. Maybe one day when you are older, I will show you my special whale milking method. <laughs> so cottage cheese is when your cheese comes in a cottage. Because back in the days when people wore burlap, they made cottage cheese. And it's basically bad milk, only it is wonderful. You see, it started when a witch, she looked at your pot of milk and it curdled and made cottage cheese. I read it in a book, I kid you not. I think you are lying, but I was going to ask. Since it is cottage cheese, does that mean Uncle Tom was especially prolific in his cheese making? No, he lived in a cabin. Is there any difference? <laughs> a cottage has a thatched roof. A cabin has not. I don't know what the thatched roof is. No, but it's not thatched. So cottage cheese is more susceptible to catch fire than say cabin cheese. True. I want some cabin cheese real bad. <laughs> Me too. Why have we not had cabin cheese before this? Maybe I could stop having flammable sandwiches. Okay. So then you have ice cream, which mm, is so good. <laughs> it comes in a variety of flavors, and you make it in science class with salt in a bag and ice. And the salt inevitably leaks into it, and it is disgusting. Or if you are more mom, then you have a little pot in which there is a crank on the side, and you sit there for four hours as it rumbles its way into about one mouthful of ice cream for 400 people at the family reunion. You see, this is new 21st century, so all the 30-somethings with the little children, they have the kind you plug in. Oh my gosh, the best are the kind in the hamster balls. <laughs> you, they give it to the children to kick around. <laughs> we are playing four on the four on the four soccer, when this is going to be ice cream after we are done. So blitches. What? <laughs> I like to call it the vomit cheese. <laughs> and I was going to say if this Satan incarnate as a cheese had the ability to make excrement then it would be blue cheese. <laughs> that is fair. Okay. What is another type of dairy product you may ask? Well, yogurt! Yes, which hippies make. They have like spawn and they put it in the window. I read it in a hippie book! I not believe you won a microsecond. I read a book by Abby Hoffman who is based on the person in the Forrest Gump with the flag shirt, you know him? Maybe. At the Washington Monument. Anyway, he's a boy. His name is Abby, right? He's the quintessential hippie. I read his book called Steal This Book because it's hippie. And he says to make yogurt, you get special kind of spawn and you put it in the window and you always have yogurt evermore. <laughs> that is not sanitary. You do realize that in order for the yogurt to work, they probably infuse it with like crack cocaine, right? <laughs> it's my favorite kind! Ah, that is against the honor code, you would just crack your gourd. <laughs> Isn't a gourd like a nomad bent? No! <laughs> it's it's not. A yet! This is a shout out to my boy John. You can't listen to this because you're dead and your mama won't let you on Facebook. But shout out to John for the yurtage and the impeccably furnished Mongolian tent. I'm so ashamed that I got gourd in here. It's mixed up just now. It's gourd like. A big yurt, like with Gert. <laughs> no, Gert is what you give to the nickname of someone who is named Gertrude. True story, I've heard this happen, she killed herself. <laughs> Not Gertie? Maybe if her name was Gertie, she would have been better with life. If her name was Gertie, people would pass her and go, Hurdy, Gertie, Gertie, Gertie. Gertie. Or yeah. Trudy, I've heard that one also. Ah, no, it's Trudy! Trudy! It is my turn to make shout out Trudy, you probably don't have Facebook because I think you are pushing 60 and you have no business. But you are amazing and I love your rolly backpack so much. <laughs> are there any other types of dairy products you like? Maybe pickles? Can pickle be a dairy product, please? <laughs> pickle ice cream. You are talking about Satan incarnate again. Do you remember? Okay, at the end of life you had left tiles, and you'd see what your life was like. At the end, yes. And they would be like, you invented new type of ice cream! And then they'd be like, what type of ice cream? Oh! Okay, I thought you meant literally like life. I didn't realize you meant the board game. I was like, I have no fans at the end of my life. I don't know. <laughs> life tiles! Anyway, I, <laughs> I always wanted to make booger ice cream because I was a cross nasty child of eight. Teen. Nasty child of eight teen. <laughs> I don't know the song. I wanted to sing it, but I'm very bad. What? Schwan. Do. Schwan teen teen. This is 14. I'm going to start over. One, two, two and half, seven, 14, teen, 27, half, 37, half, 27, 37, what is that? Chickadee squash, 55, chickadee squash, 55. And that is our beautiful dairy products. If you are lactose intolerant, we hope you can live vicariously.